guys. So today, da -da -da -da, I'm going to be talking about my favorite lipsticks and lip glosses I'm going to be reaching for for spring and summertime. I have a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. So I'm going to try to hurry through this and I will be doing swatches. So that's going to take more time, but I'm rambling. So first I'm going to do like the kind of boring stuff, which will be the nude lips because I do plan on doing nude lips sometimes during the spring and summer. Um, the first one, and you've seen me wear this on one of my videos, I'm pretty sure, is the Milani Lipstick in Teddy Bear. That's the swatch of it right there. It's just a really just nice nude for darker skin tones. I think even people lighter than me will be able to wear that and pull it off. I just think it's a really pretty color. I don't have to wear a lip liner with it, and it goes on smooth. Yeah, I really, really like that. So... For lip glosses, that's the only lipstick I have. For lip glosses, I actually have three. And my number one favorite doesn't have a label on it because I've used it so much, but it's by NYC and it is their New York City lip gloss. And it's just a really pretty, like, natural nude color. Like, it's no fuss about it or nothing like that I just think it's a really nice color to even out your lips and everything like that so that's one of my favorites another one is by NYX and it is in the color natural and it's also just a nice nude this is more of a peachy nude color though so this is what it looks like it's more of a peachy nude and yeah I like that one as well and the last one, I'm not going to swatch because I can't find the one that actually works. I don't know if you saw my haul with NYX, but the little thingy is gone. So I don't know how I'm going to use this, but it's called Sponge Cake and it's just a regular nude and it has like little tiny little sparkles in it. So those are my three lip glosses. Next are the two colors I'm going to show you are kind of like bombs, but not really. One is a bomb and one isn't but it's not a lipstick so um the first the bomb that actually i showed in my ulta haul that i put put up a few days ago is the nyx color bomb and it's in the color mercy and it's just a really pretty hot pink color and it's i swatched it in my haul but it's not a lot of color that comes off of this maybe just a little bit but if i just decide that i'm running out the door and i just want like a little bit of color or something on my lips that's really really moisturizing i will be reaching for that one and another thing i'll be reaching for if i want a little bit more color my revlon lip butter and it is in sweet tart it's just a really pretty like like yellow type pink basically and that's it right there I think it's such a pretty color I love putting this on even if I'm not wearing makeup I will probably wear these two let's talk about purples because that's basically purples corals oranges and pinks are basically what I'm going to be wearing majority of the time for spring and summer because I just love that but purples for sure so um, the first purple I want to show you is a drugstore one and it's by CoverGirl and it's called Divine. I'm sure if you're a purple lover like me that you have heard of this lipstick and you probably have it in your collection. Just a really pretty light lavender color and that's it right there. I'm not flipping you off I promise. <laughs> that's it right there. It's just a really pretty color. I really really like it. It took me forever to get this and I don't know why. I can't believe it took me forever to get this but it's a really pretty color. And another purple is actually a um, high-end, it's by MAC, and it's one of the most talked about purples in the makeup world, I think, and I love it. It is heroin, and this is my, I have a backup of it, but this is like my first tube, and I've been using it a lot, a lot. It is a matte, and I just think it's so, so pretty. Like, I have not found a color that can compare to this one. It's worth all the hype. I do believe that you should get it. I love it. I wear it so, so much. And I will wear it more now that I have a backup of it because I tried to keep it, you know, spared out a little bit so I won't use it all up and not have a backup. But there are rumors, hopefully, there are rumors that, um, that it may be becoming permanent. I hope it does, kind of like Candy Yum Yum did. I really hope it becomes permanent because that would just be awesome <laughs> if it became permanent. 
because it's just a pretty color and I think everybody should be able to experience it. I have two purple lip glosses. One is by Black Radiance and I'm not necessarily sure if this is limited edition. I'm really sorry if it is, but um, this doesn't actually have a name on it. I guess it was on the packaging, but that's the color of it. I'm sorry, it doesn't have a name on it. I hate when they don't put names on the actual packaging. You gotta, you know, they put it on the plastic. It has a really nice duo chrome, like bluish tint to it. Favorite purple gloss right now, which is also a drugstore, and it's, I think it is limited edition, but they are out in the stores right now, so you may be able to still find it. But it is by Maybelline, or is it by Revlon? Maybelline and it's called Mirrored Plum and this is just a really pretty like just purple I just I think I mentioned this in one of my favorite videos I wear it alone I wear it on top of Diva that's it right there yeah that's it right there just a really pretty purple color I love it I am obsessed with purple lips just just if you find a purple lip and I don't have it then let me know because I really <laughs> love purple lips. I really only have one pink lipstick to show you guys and it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now and I really think that if you only had to choose one pink then this is the one you should choose like it can stand on its own like you don't even have to have any other pinks in, in your collection and it is by MAC and it is called Show Orchid and just look at it like it's such a pretty like blue toned like oh neon pink it's not really too neon to wear like candy yum yum but this is a amplified finish and it's just so so pretty i'm wearing it on my lips but i will swatch it so you'll be able to see it on my hands and that's it right there it's so pretty i am in love with it um this is a pro color but for a while mac had the pro stuff on their regular website so you should be able to get it i don't really know i'm sorry if you can't but i know if you go to a pro store you'll be able to uh pick it up there so yeah that's the only pink i have i don't really have a lot of pink lip glosses either but yeah this is the only pink that i really think i'm going to be reaching for anyway moving on to oranges and corals the first thing is uh the color whisper and it is in orange attitude and this is kind of like a when i put it on my lips it comes it turns into like a red orange but in the tube it's like a really really pretty like normal color orange but i don't know what's going on with my lips but this is kind of a bomb as well it's kind of like uh maybelline's version of the revlon lip butters and it's a really you have to build up the color to make it visible i hope i haven't been talking too fast for you guys i've just been trying to get through all of these lippies to show you and not have like a 15 minute long video i don't want a 15 minute long video so um i have five more lips to show you and these are like uh like pinky corals and stuff like that so the first one is by black radiance and this is in hibiscus and it's a really pretty like I don't I can't really describe this color I was sitting here trying to figure out how to describe it and I can't describe it but it's like a like a it looks orange and coral in the tube but no on camera it looks like it does when it's swatched but anyway um but yeah when you swatch it this is just this really pretty pinky pinky coral color I don't know I really <laughs> can't explain it but it's a gorgeous color it's so beautiful and another lipstick that is coral is actually called kiss me coral and it's a cream by Revlon this actually is more of an orange like it looks coral and it's called coral but it, it's really pretty orange so if you want a nice like orange looking lipstick that's affordable and you know drugstore then kiss me coral is really really nice it's a cream i think i said that but yeah this is a really nice color next is a nyx soft matte lip cream and i love these soft matte lip creams i've said that before and this is in san paulo i'm so bad at describing like hard to describe things like I, I can't think of stuff so I'm just gonna let you I'm just gonna show you the color and you just come to terms of what you think it is that's it up there really pretty color and I have a coral lip gloss and this is limited edition but maybe you have this in your collection and you just haven't pulled it out or something so I'm trying to refresh your memory this is from the MAC 
Archie Girls collection and this you see me use this multiple times because this is such a pretty color and I love this lip gloss um, this is in kiss and don't tell that's it right there it's so pretty I love this I love it alone I love it on top of lipsticks and speaking of on top of lipsticks I think it will look really really good on top of um, max Vegas vault and I'm just gonna swatch that really quick I didn't put this in my things because I don't wear it often but that's Max Vegas Vault right there. And I think that would kind of look good with Kiss and Don't Tell. So that's a good combination that you can probably have. And last but not least, if I'm going to wear red lips, I'm going to wear my Tarte Matte Lip Surgeons in Fiery. And it looks like this. And it's just a really nice, comfortable matte red to wear. That's it right there. Now, I really suggest that you buy the Tarte Matte Lip Surgeons because... The, the formula of it and the quality of it is outstanding and it's really really nice but if you don't want to pay I think they're like 18 or 19 dollars for that you can also use um, the Revlon matte lipstick in really red and this actually is my first um, red lipstick I ever had and I'm gonna put it right next to the Tarte one this one is a little bit more this is a little bit brighter that's it on the bottom. This is a little bit brighter than a Tarte one, but it's still really pretty. It's matte. It gives you that like classic pinup look that you're looking for. And it's at a drugstore price. It's like $5 or something. So yeah, those are all of my different kind of um, lips that I'm going to be wearing. I'm trying to give you another look going to be wearing for um, spring and summertime. I will list all of them down below just so you can get the official names if I was talking too fast for you and you missed it or anything like that. I will list them down below for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have some favorite spring and summer lipsticks that I did not mention or lip glosses because I do like lip glosses too. If you have some that I didn't mention and that you think I would actually like if they're purple or orange or whatever whatever color um, just leave them down below and let me know or if you done a video like this leave me a video response i am always on the lookout for new lippies thanks so much for watching guys i'll talk to you later bye